Well, good morning, race fans, and welcome to day 11, I think. I think it's the 11th. I should check. I think it's the 11th. Uh, so this morning, I'm doing a half marathon. Um, and if you didn't watch the end of yesterday's vlog, we talked about how I was staying um, at our workspace because our workspace is like a five minute like scooter ride <laughs> to the start line. We have these like bird scooters in town. And, like there's a couple different brands, but that's one of them. And you can just hop on a scooter and right down there, like an electric scooter. Um, anyway, so uh, it's like five minutes from the starting line because it's right down the street here. Um, and so I just got up. I'm going to try and eat a few things. I got a cliff bar, I got a banana, peanut butter. Uh, a cup of coffee, and then I've got a few like um, like these kind of things. I have a bunch of different brands that I use, so I'm not. I'm just, I don't know if this one's better or not, but I'm using this noon stuff right now. Um, but uh, I'm about to leave here in like 25 minutes, so I'm gonna get dressed. I'm debating. It's like 61 degrees outside Fahrenheit right now, but in the next two hours, it's supposed to drop to like 40. So it's like a 20 degree drop <laughs> in like two hours. So I'm debating on how warmly I want to dress because like right now I feel fine. But then the race starts and then it's going to drop like 20 degrees. So, But I'm like, I'll be running though. So I think I'll be fine without much. But I don't want to be cold. But I don't want to be too hot. So I'm trying to figure out what do you do with a 20 degree temperature swing and a run? I, I don't know. I got to figure that out. <laughs> so I have not trained for this half marathon at all. I talked about that yesterday. I literally had um, like a month off of running. And then I did a 5K last week with Jessica, which we, we vlogged about. And then I'm doing this. So it's been a while since I've run. So we're just going to go out and we're going to see what we see today because it's it's not going to be pretty. I uh, My plan is to just kind of go out and like just try and find like a nine minute mile and just stick with it and just plow through. Um, ideally, I'd like to come in in under two hours. My, my PR, my personal record for a half marathon is an hour and 47 minutes. And that was last year. And if I can get in under two hours, I'll be pretty happy today. <laughs> Whenever I'm out running and I'm like getting towards the end and I'm like just dying and I don't, I'm like, I, there's no way I can do this. I always say, I always think about the last thing I ate before I ran, which in this case is going to be the Cliff Bar. And in my head, I say, the power of Cliff Bar compels you. The power of Cliff Bar compels you to keep going forward and finish the race. I don't know. It makes me laugh. <laughs> and in life, that's half the battle. <laughs> assume Taylor has vlogged this morning and has already said hi to you guys but uh well on my end of things <laughs> slept terribly it was one of those stormy nights like I love a good thunderstorm but sometimes it bridges over into the like scary calm <laughs> just straight up scary and we have these really big trees like near our bedroom window and uh it's, there are neighbors trees and they're beautiful, like coniferous, like evergreens. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Anyway, well, they, uh, they're the things that scare me during the storm. We have had so many trees in our yard fall to the point where we've had an arborist come out, but those aren't our trees. You know what I mean? And I think they're like healthy, but the problem is like, we had a beautiful tree in our front yard that we loved and it looked, you would never have guessed it wasn't healthy. And it straight up fell into the street like a year, year and a half ago. It was the weirdest thing. Two trees in our backyard have fallen. Anyway, my point of saying all that is I always have this fear of like those trees falling into our house because they are really tall and they're like right there on the other side of our window. And they just sound really eerie when it's super windy. And last night, it was a tornado watch all night. I don't think it ever bridged into warning where we live. I don't actually know because I slept a lot of the time, but... Pinocchio was sleeping with me because Tyler wasn't here and so that already was not going to be a good sleep because he just moves every two hours, you know, and shifts to a different position. Anyway, and then of course Miss Gigi was up at her normal like seven o'clock time. So, hey baby, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let Pinocchio lick it. She's handing me her empty breakfast plate. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it all the way to me. What you watching? Smelly. That's not what you're watching. What are you watching? <laughs> She's watching The Grinch again. Anyway, I don't know where I left off there, but basically just, it was not a great night. It was a very stormy but scary night. 
But I woke up this morning and it's so weirdly mild out. Like I thought it'd be colder, but the wind is still crazy. So I literally have not looked at the news to see if there was any severe weather. Cause I know like, I think there were a couple states that were in some kind of severe weather path. You know what I mean? So I'll have to look, but y'all is well here. And I think Tyler started his race. I see he just texted me, so I wanted to see. But what's cool is a lot of those races, you can track them on like there's usually an app or something or like a website where you can type in their name and track how they're doing if they're at the halfway point when they get to the finish line and stuff and we have a day full of like stuff to get done which is always good it, it is the weekend after all how is it already the weekend again i'm happy about that but it's so crazy because when the weekend's over i'm like dang the weekend's over i mean as we all are <laughs> and then the week flies by and I'm like, well, that's good. But I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the weekend again. Like another week has gone by. Also officially 23 weeks pregnant today. And it's crazy to see like on the apps, it'll say 23, tw Jessica, slow down. 23 weeks pregnant, only 17 weeks to go. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we've got to get a move on. We got to get that furniture built, get her moved to her room, make sure the other room's done. Like, woo. She, we go through this thing. Cheese is like her favorite food in the world. But she goes through phases. Oh, now she wants it again. Oh my gosh. She's trying a baby belt cheese right now, which she's eaten and loved in the past. But today, suddenly, she's not so sure. Well, that makes me really sad. I finally pulled on the news and there was like an awful tornado in Kentucky. So that is just awful. The storms, I'm telling you, were really bad. Um, anyway, so we are painting a bit. Got some breakfast here. Oh, I mean, I'm not eating naked English muffins. I need to put some butter on it, but, and we're painting. Okay, we've got rainbows and Mickeys and snowy scenes. Whoa, what's <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow, we gotta let that dry. How special. Perfect. Can you like hear the wind? And I take back what I said about it being mild. It's actually pretty chilly. Oh my gosh. I hope Tyler's doing okay. All right, we made it. You beat it. Yeah. They said 60. I'm calling nonsense on that because it feels like it is 30 out. It's uh, we got our we got our tags though, our number tags. And Ben, because he's like an elite runner, wears like super short shorts, and so I've at least got some layers you on here. Part, you gotta look the part. But yeah, it's uh, it is incredibly windy. So we'll see how that factors into our time here. Look at that thing. A negative on this, back, right? <laughs> exactly. It's just gonna come at our side the whole time. All right, let's do this. All right, just over a mile in, about a mile and a half. This wind is just brutal, absolutely brutal. Especially being my back though, so that's a good thing. My nose fell off. Hey, we're running. There's the skyline of Indianapolis. Okay, so we're running on like this trail area and uh, there's a lot of mud. People are slipping and sliding all over the place. It'd be fun if it uh, wasn't not fun. Wait, it'd be fun if it was fun, I guess. Doesn't matter, okay, let's go. There goes Ben. Also, I just passed Ben a minute ago because it's an out and back, so we, Go all the way out and turn around and run back. Out and back, makes sense, right? The uh, Ben's in 10th place overall right now. He might move up later, we'll see. But out of all these people running, a couple hundred maybe, I'm not even sure how many are running this. Let's say at least a couple hundred. He's in 10th place right now. We're about six miles in. We're doing about an 8.30 pace. And actually feeling pretty good. I was, uh, I was worried, but actually feeling pretty good. Had a little bit faster than what I would planned, so. So far, so good. We'll see. Still got a long way to go. Hey, here's something fun I never thought I'd say. 
fairly certain I just stepped in some human feces while listening to Mungo Jerry's in the summertime. Life, man. All right, so we're heading back downtown. We're almost at the halfway mark. And then I gotta do the whole course again. Not a big fan of doing the same course twice in a row, but hey, so fun. So also sorry for all the shaky video. I'm trying to make it not shaky. So sorry about that. Here's what it is. Here comes Ben. This is the last time we'll pass each other. I think you're in the top 10 right now. I think you're in top 10. He says, yeah, but like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, 12 miles in. I gotta pick up the pace for this last mile. If I wanna get in under two hours, it's gonna be cutting it close. Here comes Tyler. Good job. Yeah. He's done. Post race. Just under the wire. Under the two hour mark. Probably right around 159. Gold. You have made it. So we have these uh, pepper home, grinders. By the way. Yay. I'm home. I made it. Woohoo! Um, the uh, we have these pepper grinders, and we get, we looked online, um, and we were like, you know, classic Amazon thing, like, w and this had the highest reviews. And it is not cheap. But then I looked on other like blogs. This was a while ago, uh, and we have like the salt and the pepper grinder, and uh, yeah, so th they're ridiculously expensive. But we're like, we use these every day. We both like to cook and stuff. So we were like, let's just get nice ones because every time we buy a decent set after what like two years the grinder wouldn't work right or like yeah. it was just something would go wrong um so these were really expensive but we uh we had i don't know maybe two months three months and a crack started to show up on the bottom here and it was like it looks like it's like there's a a, a fault line for lack of a better term in the yeah. wood like it just it cracked right down that line there so i'm like i feel like it's just the way that whatever piece of wood they picked you know had that there and so it cracked and so I was like, well, you know, these were expensive. And I was like, I, I, so I, I call, or I, I didn't call, I got on their website and it said that they have a, like a guarantee. So I sent a thing and I was like, Hey, there's a crack on the bottom of it. They emailed me back and said, Hey, we just need mm -hmm. a, a picture of it. We need a picture of the grinder and we need a, a picture of whatever it is you're putting in the grinder. And then they didn't email me back. Like, I thought, well, no wonder you were putting whole cloves in there. <laughs> right. Um, but then two days later, lo and behold, they didn't even tell me they were going to send it. They just, boom, there's a new one. So two days later or was it a few weeks ago? Two days later. Oh, So they took fast. like a week to get back to me in the email. And then I emailed them back and I was like, well, you know, I hadn't heard from them. And I thought, well, it'll be a little while until they get mm -hmm. back to me again. And then I just walked, walked yeah, in the door and saw this sitting on the, oh, uh, wow. on the table here. I'm like, well, that's awesome. So it's kind of like a Cutco knife. Like it's a more expensive thing, but they have a lifetime guarantee. My mom had one time had a, uh, um, like she had accidentally set it on a burner or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I, we took it in to have it sharpened. And they're like, oh, well, this one's messed up. We'll get you a new one. So they are more expensive, but. But they at least stand by their product. They stand by their product, like, yeah. that should not have happened two or three months Yeah. Ago. So I think you're right. If we'd had it 10 years, that's one thing. But we had just gotten it. And so. Yeah. So but that yay. Was and they, it's filled with pepper. <laughs> How exciting. Bonus pepper. Yeah, bonus pepper. Okay. So we went on a nice little walk, but it was cold, as we've said. So we've been back and just kind of relaxing and we were all watching Polar Express, which neither one of us had like ever seen, right? Never seen it. Um, I think I'd seen bits and pieces like it'd be on, but anyway, she was really enjoying it too. Now it's been like an hour though and she's like, eh, I'm moving on. But what I am doing, we were going to go to the grocery store today, like all together, but at this point it's like 4.30 and we're like, well, we'll be doing dinner soon and... We're actually doing a like FaceTime with my brother and sister-in-law, which we do every once in a while just to catch up with them because they live out of town. So anyway, that's tonight as well. So with all that in mind, I was like, let's just do online grocery delivery because our day tomorrow is pretty busy too. So another thing I'm doing is I pulled out some of our favorite like cookie recipes for Christmas because I'm like, all right, it's like December, what is it, 10th, 11th? So I'm like, we need to like get serious about making some cookies because we like them for ourselves, but we also give them to like neighbors and stuff. So we pulled out some and I need to add some of these ingredients to our grocery order. Most notably, we need a lot of Ritz crackers because these are for like homemade tagalongs, but we also use Ritz crackers and melting chocolate and mint to make homemade thin mints, which if you are new here, you strap right on in because when we make those, you're going to end up running to the store and making them too. They're so good. So that is definitely something we're going to do. I want to try this Preppy Kitchen sugar cookie recipe because some friends of ours made these and they were so freaking good. So we've got that recipe. 
And uh, I think we need a cut. Like, I know we need unsalted butter and stuff like that. Um, spritz cookies are a favorite of mine, so I want to make. And I don't think we need too much for it. I don't think we're going to do the peanut butter cookies. Oh, another one we will probably do are these molasses spice ones, which is a recipe from my mama. So um, I actually think we have, like, I know we have molasses. We might not have shortening, though. So, yeah, there, it's going to be a lot of cookies in the next week or so, but... We will certainly share it with you guys, and I'm excited too. I'm just in a cookie mood, you know? And this boy had so much fun on his walk. Now he is so sleepy. Well, first of all, Tyler got a really nice fire going. Um, <laughs> this is every day, you guys. Like, anyone else have toddlers? This is normal, right? <laughs> like, and it happens fast. Like, it was clean halfway through the day. We'd kind of tidied up, and she'll help, you know, as much as a three-year-old really helps. And I mean, <laughs> and I've already put away a couple of things that were on the floor before I decided like, wait, I want to show you guys this. Anyway, we are going to tidy a bit and I need to get started on dinner soon. Jessica. <laughs> just found out. I love you. <laughs> Santa Claus's phone number. I'm going to put the phone number below if any of you guys have Paw kiddos Paw. that want to I, call I love Santa. Paw you love Paw Patrol? <laughs> And we got to call Santa and leave him a voicemail. And that was so cool. Gigi, wasn't that so cool? She's Now she's wired. Yes. Yeah, you get to leave him cool. a voicemail. And you can tell him your Christmas gifts wish list. Anyway, it was really cool. Yeah. All right, just cracked open one of these seltzers from Trader Joe's. I don't love this. It kind of tastes like a melted down, no, no, watered down mojito. It's not like the worst thing I've ever tried, but I don't know. I don't know that I would recommend it for most people. Anywho, going to make some sweet potatoes and some Brussels sprouts and some chicken, just kind of like a healthy square little meal here. And this, I want to say we got on Amazon. We'd been looking for like a vegetable like brush to just kind of clean, you know, a potato or whatever before you use it. This one is perfect because it's so small. Like I didn't want to get anything humongous where it takes up a ton of room in our drawer and this one's really small and I'm pretty sure we bought it on Amazon and we've now had it for years and it cleans up really well. And yeah, wanted to give it a shout out. Your finger just kind of fits right through it and you can just kind of brush it under the water and yeah, a random shout out. But I know a lot of you guys are nerds for like little useful kitchen gadgets and this is one I find to be very useful. <laughs> So I was just reading that I'm roasting some Brussels sprouts and I was like, I want to make sure cause we do them. There's one way we make them with balsamic vinegar, but it is, they're the best ever, seriously, but it's very involved. And I'm like, we're not, most nights we don't have the time to do that, but we love Brussels sprouts. So I was like, okay, how, you know, what are some tips? So I was looking on a few blogs and pretty much every single one of them agreed that once you have them to put them flat side down, and like one blogger was like, it's worth the extra 45 seconds to do it. So I just coated them in olive oil, salt, and pepper. We're going to bake them. But they said a higher temperature, so like 425, 450. Don't disturb them. Just leave them be. Don't worry about flipping them or anything and make sure they're flat side down. So we're going to test this and see if it's, I mean, the way we bake them just like this anyway is usually good. But I'm just kind of curious to make these few little adjustments and see. Okay, I just made a new mixture to rub on the chicken we're going to make. I'll link it below. We've not tried it, so we'll see if it's good. But it called for brown sugar, which I thought was interesting. And like oh. onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, oregano, salt, pepper. I think that's pretty much it. Um, and then I think chili powder was optional, but I'm, I'm just not big on tons of chili powder. So I'm just not going to put it in. But we're going to see how this is because we usually use just like pre-made mixes or we just invent stuff. <laughs> so we're going to see if this is any good. So I just took these out and I just ate one and they needed a little bit more salt. So I just added that. But what is awesome is that they're like definitely cooked all the way through, but the outside of it is super crispy. The inside, I wouldn't call it mushy. It's not, but it's, it's not as crispy as like, again, that one way we do it. And I'll link Tyler. Do you have like a recipe for that? I have a video on it too. Okay. A video on if you want to make it the really, uh, involved, but absolutely most delicious way but these are better than the way they normally are so i am into these new little tricks so i'm definitely going to do this again all righty we just cleaned up dinner tyler did you like you like the brussels sprouts that way yes they were very good they were like as far as like baked brussels sprouts for mm -hmm. me that's the best way we've made them so far 100%. yeah 
Um, <laughs> that was a funny part of the office to be showing. Anyway, uh, we are about to FaceTime with my brother and sister-in-law, which is always nice. They might be calling right now. So we got our grocery delivery in and got some groceries we needed, but um, I may have ordered too much melting chocolate. <laughs> Because I told you we make like some cookies with Ritz. And I I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I ordered way too many. <laughs> These are good for the Thin Mint ones. It's like not real, real chocolate. I mean, it is, but it's not. I don't know how else to explain it. It just tastes different, but it is good. And it works really well for like the Thin Mints we make. But then I saw they had a dark chocolate kind. So I added it to cart. I thought I removed one of these though. And then I don't remember ordering four of these, but we have got four of these. So I'm just saying, Tyler, we've got a lot of melting chocolate, like too much. Twist my arm. We'll find a way to use it. I know. Well, the Thin Mints and stuff, I feel like, freeze really well, too. So they'll keep for a long time. Well, Pernalk's wanting to get his toy. He said, we one. were both just trying to take a picture for the thumbnail. I don't even know if we'll end up using it or not. But <laughs> I, I'm the one that makes the thumbnails. And I'm like, Tyler, we never have, like... I'm pictures to use like photos. we're well me too i did take a picture of me today in my red nose though so you oh then we that. might not even need this picture but we both hold our breath when we take a photo <laughs> what is wrong with us so we were both know. like <laughs> out of breath <laughs> what's going on um okay. yeah all right well we should play with Pinocchio for a minute and then oh, i'm ready to go to bed it's already oh why it's like 10 30 it's not terrible but also early day also marathon also baby also what's going on so we're tired and i don't need excuses and why am i explaining myself to you i'm tired leave me alone <laughs> um oh hold on okay hold on i'm gonna stand up and walk over there one thing about this hold on there was a ton of comments asking about this today um it uh it, it's just a plug so you can see here when this isn't in there there's a usb you can plug into then there's the two plugs and then this is also a phone charger here so you can stick your uh, your phone there and charge it as well if you have like a uh, wireless charger but a lot of people were asking about that and then you just it, it's the whole system there you just replace the uh the plug that's there which is super duper easy to do um there are also ones like uh this one which this one doesn't have the wireless capability because this is this is an older one um but we do have another one that has if you just plug it into the wall and then it has the two plugs and it's got USBs, but then it also has where you can just set your phone on it and charge it. So those do exist too if you don't actually want to replace the outlet. Um, we have like kind of, we have several different kinds, but this one, uh, you just plug it in the wall and it's done. And then this one over here, you actually have to rewire, but it's really super easy. And it's nice to just be able to park your phone there and have it plugged in while you're, uh, or have it charging while you're in the kitchen or wherever it is that you put it. And that's my infomercial for modern plug options. <laughs> modern. <laughs> It is nice, though, that you don't have to, like, plug your phone in. You can just set it on there. And like I said, um, at our workspace, cool. we have one where you can just you just plug it into the wall, and it has the spot where you can charge your phone. Um, the one, a, My one complaint, like, comparing those two, I like that model better because can't you just set it against it? You don't you have to, like, pull the... Whereas my, that, you have to, like, and my your fear, phone in. Yeah, and my fear with that one is that plastic over time could break off, and then it's useless then because like, there's wait, no way... The other one is just, like, you lean it against it. Um, and I'm like, and again, if, you have to have a wireless yeah. charging capable phone, right. obviously, but so if that I like that anything, one better. Yeah, I would agree with that. And it's easier to just install. Um, but yeah. uh, there's really no installation, right? You just plug, you it, just in. plug it in. I think I, did, I think I took the face plate off and put the screw in, I think, but I don't even remember at this yeah. point, but that's super easy. Even I could do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that one there, that's my only fear with that one is if the plastic breaks off, then it's completely useless. So yeah. Um, and there's probably better models out there. So those are the three that we have, but that's not to say they're the best ones. So just do your research. They're out there. Look at them and see what you can find. But that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. Anything else? I just noticed you're wearing your King Arthur baking shirt. Yeah. Got this for Christmas, I think. It's good I got stuff, it for man. you, but I couldn't tell you what holiday it was for. So that sounds about right. <laughs> you feel sore. Not terrible. Just a little bit. I think I should feel fine by the morning. I feel like I would feel really well, crappy just, by now, but then by the morning, it'd be worse. But I think at the level I am right now, it's not very bad. So hopefully, good night, sleep. I mean, it, it'll probably be a little bit sore tomorrow, but I think actually, because you know, when it, if you're like, you can feel the difference. Like if you're really sore the night before, like tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to walk. Today, I, I, I feel fine. Although I've also heard, I remember taking this class when we had to take like certain dance classes, but where I went to school for theater, we had to take our dance classes at a different dance studio, which I don't even think this dance studio is still around. Anyway, so we'd be going off campus, basically. And one of the classes I took was not a dance class. It was like a workout class. It was like, I wish I could remember what it was. 
<laughs> all I know is it was basically basically conditioning, and I was I've never been more sore in my life than that class, and it was once a week, and you wouldn't feel sore at all until two days after. You right. wouldn't feel anything, and two days after you would try to stand up and be like, uh -uh, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the teacher saying she was like you're not going to feel this for two days. And when you feel it, you are going to hate me. I wonder but then the, you'll, you'll be coming back from work. I wonder Tuesday. what the difference is, like what the, the method of working out, if, if it's consistently that way, what it is mm -hmm. about the way that workout is structured that she knows it takes two days to feel it. And she was right. And it sucked. It's interesting. It really I wonder fun. what the, how, what's the difference. You know? And I wish I could remember even like what we were doing. It was a lot of like, if I remember right, like squat, like holds and, but it was also, I think there was dance involved too. It was like hip hop conditioning or something. Anyway, who was that teacher, man? She was awesome. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so that's also sometimes when you're like sore quicker, I'm like, oh, maybe you won't be as sore because I always I think know. about that. But I, anyway, all right. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll tell them about it later because that's, we're talking a lot about a lot of things. Yeah, we you got... guys are like, you've already, they're not even here anymore. <laughs> We've got 30 days to go. Uh, uh, we haven't decided if we're going to go all the way to 30. I think we probably or... will. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Heavy. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I know. I'm so tired. Uh, all right. Anything entertaining to do? You dance? What are you, you going to do for us? No, I'll be you so any jokes? <laughs> no, I don't have any jokes. I'm just tired. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I love Bye. you. <laughs>